Hey how's going guys welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video I am going to show you the top 5 best games for low end PC. And if you want more of these then check the description for more videos. So please appreciate my efforts and if you are new to our channel then subscribe for more better content. So let's start the video. On number 1 spot we have Tomb Raider 2013. Tomb Raider is a 2013 action-adventure game developed by Crystal Dynamics and published by Square Enix's European branch. Tomb Raider is presented in third-person perspective. The game is set on Yamatai, a fictional lost island in the Dragon's Triangle off the coast of Japan. The Elanda and the kingdom that once existed there is shrouded in mystery given its reputation for fearsome storms and shipwrecks that litter its coastline. Players take control of the series' lead character Lara Croft. The game uses an interconnected hub-and-spoke model that combines action-adventure, exploration, and survival elements. Players can traverse between the camps and across the island using footpaths, improvised or already available ziplines and climbable tracks. Many of Lara's moves are carried over from the previous games created by Crystal Dynamics, with some tweaks added, such as incorporating elements of stealth gameplay. Number 2 On number 2 spot we have Sleeping Dogs. Sleeping Dogs is a 2012 action-adventure video game developed by United Front Games and published by Square Enix. It was released for PlayStation 3. Xbox 360 and Windows. Sleeping Dogs is an action-adventure game set in an open-world environment and played from a third-person perspective. The player controls Wei Shen, a Chinese-American police officer who goes undercover and ventures out on a raid to infiltrate the Sun on Yi Triad organization. The game features the option to choose from Triad, Face and Police XPs. Triad XP is obtained through melee combat and violent actions such as environmental kills. Sleeping Dogs is set in a contemporary Hong Kong, which is split into four districts named after regions of the city. The game reveals the story of Wei Shen, William Li, a former San Francisco police officer who was transferred to the Hong Kong police force and assigned the task to infiltrate and destroy a triad organization known as the Sun on Yi. Number 3. On number 3 spot we have Outlast 2. Outlast 2 is a first-person survival horror game that, like its predecessors Outlast and Outlast, Whistleblower, is a single-player campaign. It is set in northern Arizona. The game continues the found footage characteristics from the first game. The player controls the investigative journalist Blake Landerman, who investigates a dilapidated rural area in Supai, near the western edge of the Colorado Plateau. The game takes influence from the horror films The Hills Have Eyes, Race with the Devil, and The Blair Witch Project. The game features a cameraman named Blake Lannerman, along with his wife Lynn, a journalist roaming the Arizona desert to explore the murder of a pregnant woman only known as Jane Doe. Both get separated in a helicopter crash, and Blake has to find his wife while traveling through a village inhabited by a deranged sect that believes the end of days are upon them. Number 4 on number 4 spot we have Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is a 2012 first-person shooter video game developed by Treyarch and published by Activision. Black Ops 2 is the first Call of Duty video game to feature branching storylines, in which the player's choice affects both the current mission and in turn, the overall course of the story, known as Strike Force missions. These branching storylines appear during the 2025 storyline and feature permanent death. The success or failure of these missions can have ramifications for the wider campaign storyline. Choosing one of the missions locks out the others unless the player begins a fresh campaign. The game's campaign follows up the story of Black Ops and takes place in the late 1980s and in 2025. In the 1980s, the player switches control between Alex Mason and Frank Woods, two of the protagonists from Black Number 5 On number 5 spot we have Driver Parallel Lines. Driver Parallel Lines is a video game developed by Reflections Interactive and is the fourth installment in the Driver video game series. It is a departure from previous titles in the series that focused on multiple cities as the game takes place in New York City, within the periods of 1978 and 2006. Driver Parallel Lines takes place in an entirely open-world environment, 
in which many games are now accessed from the in-game world instead of from a menu, while the game also features some new elements that are common with Grand Theft Auto, visible blood when someone is shot, an auto-aim feature, with manual aim also available, a money system, fully modifiable vehicles, with a test track to test out upgraded vehicles, and environment destruction, that is, lamp posts can now be run over and fire hydrants can break, spewing water into the air. A new felony system is incorporated in parallel lines, which can differentiate between personal felony and felony attached to vehicles the player has used. If the player attracts police attention on foot or in a certain vehicle. So guys let's wrap it up. I hope so you have found the game which you wants to play. And comment down on which topic you want my next video. And if you are new to our channel then subscribe for more better content. So with all my respect, bye.